What's up Key Issues, Garrick here, and welcome to today's video where we will be breaking down the incredible powers of Carol Danvers, also known as Captain Marvel, from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But before we get to that, we want to thank all of our members whose names are on the screen right now. Thanks to all these great people for supporting the channel. If you'd like to become a member, check the link down in the description. During the events of Captain Marvel, the Tesseract fell into the hands of Marvell a Kree scientist who planned to use the Cosmic Cube to create the Lightspeed Engine which would help the Skrulls escape the oppression of the Kree. Which makes perfect sense, of course the Space Stone should be capable of enhancing travel as its primary ability is to alter the space around you, allowing the wielder to transport themselves throughout the cosmos. But what happens to Carol is very very interesting. By shooting the light speed engine and destroying it, the energy within the engine is absorbed by Carol's body, granting her amazing power on a scale that we have never seen before in the MCU. But before we get to Carol's powers, let's first take a look at the capabilities of the Tesseract and how these abilities could affect the powers of Captain Marvel. The Tesseract is a cube which contains the Space Stone, representing the fabric of space. If wielded properly, the Tesseract can open gateways to any part of the universe and provide interdimensional travel. When grabbing the Tesseract directly, Red Skull was suddenly teleported to Vormir, where the Soul Stone chose him to become a Stonekeeper. During the events of Avengers, Thanos was able to manipulate the Tesseract from afar to open a portal that transported Loki to the Joint Dark Energy Mission Facility, which ended up destroying that facility. And while under its influence, Eric Selvig was able to construct a machine powered by the Tesseract which opened an enormous portal to the Chitauri. Throughout Phase 1, these powers were fairly consistent, and this consistency continued throughout Infinity War, but we'll get to that movie in a minute. First, I'd like to discuss another aspect of the Space Stone's capabilities. Throughout history, many believe that the Tesseract was an unlimited source of energy, but it actually just draws cosmic energy from space. Because of this, it can be used as an incredible source of power and is used throughout the MCU to power objects and artifacts, such as the Bifrost Bridge, the Lightspeed Engine, and Hydra was able to use the Tesseract to power advanced vehicles and weapons of mass destruction, including blasters, tanks, and bombs that vaporize their targets. During the events of the first Avengers, the latent energy of the Tesseract destroyed the massive S.H.I.E.L.D. base in the Mojave Desert, and S.H.I.E.L.D. has even stated that it has the energy to wipe out the planet. It has melted through steel on contact, although it could be held using gloves for a short time, as well as in special containment units, and apparently it sits fine on Nick Fury's desk. It could also be handled directly by exceptionally powerful beings such as Goose, Captain Marvel, Loki, Ebony Maw, and of course, Thanos. So now that we understand what the Tesseract and the Space Stone have done in the past, you might be a little bit confused about the abilities of Captain Marvel. She can't really do any of the things that we just discussed. Well, the first thing we need to consider is Carol's power came indirectly from the Tesseract in the form of the Lightspeed Engine, which was designed to allow the Skrull race to get as far away from the Kree as possible. This was achieved by wielding the space manipulation of the Space Stone and using that to harness photons. A photon is a type of elementary particle that has zero rest mass and always moves at the speed of light while within a vacuum. Using the power of photons, the Lightspeed Engine would allow the Skrulls to travel faster than anything thought possible, capable of traversing multiple galaxies in almost no time. Carol is able to wield this energy to create photon blasts and fly at incredible speeds, making her the fastest character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe by millions and millions of times over. Her enhanced strength and durability comes from the Kree blood flowing through her veins, and she seems to be further amped by the light speed engine energy as she was able to physically overpower 20 of the best scroll fighters and her entire former team of soldiers. So while Carol cannot use the same abilities of the Tesseract and the Space Stone directly, 
her indirect amp is very useful and makes sense within the context of the universe. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Did I miss anything? Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you did like this video. It does really, really help us out and consider becoming a member as well. Be sure to follow us on all the social media you see on the screen and be sure to check out the Key Issues podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes.